Hi, I'm Marcy Wansang, BenQ Ambassador. And in this video, what I want to do is talk about why you should avoid using HDMI cable with a hardware caliber display in a color critical workflow. Before we start, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload new videos like this. Okay, so let's talk about the HDMI standard a little bit. The HDMI standard happens to be a standard that got adopted by computer system, but they were really never originally designed for computer system. They were really designed for entertainment, for TVs. If you really think about it, look at your TV set that you have at home. Most of the connection that you are going to use to link your TV to all the other peripherals out there are going to be HDMI. That means that if you have a DVD player, a Blu-ray player, an Apple TV box, or any other box for that matter uses HDMI. Let's think about HDMI a little bit. That cable does not only carry the signal to your TV, but it also carries sound. If your box happened to be able to do HDR or carry HDR signal, the HDMI cable is also carrying the HDR signal too. Many times HDMI, when you plug it into your computer, either a driver or the video card will truncate the signal or the RGB range coming out from your video card in this case. So the normal range is 0 to 255. When you use an HDMI cable, many times the range got cuts down to 16 to 235. When you have those range cut down, you're literally throwing away all the gradients in the black area and all the gradients in the white area. This many times will cause a validation failure on a hardware calibrated display where most of the validation is done on the various gray and white tones of the display. So now that you know the reason why you should avoid using HDMI for color critical work, what are some other alternatives that you can use? For instance, on a BenQ display, all of them will come with DisplayPort and many of the newer ones will come with USB Type-C. If you have the ability to use USB Type-C, go ahead and use USB Type-C instead because that cable has a lot of bandwidth and it won't truncate down your signal. If you don't have that capability, you can always use a DisplayPort cable to link your laptop or your computer to your display. Lastly, if you are able to successfully use an HDMI cable in your workflow and are able to pass the validation on Palette Master Element, then you're set. You don't need to change the cable. However, if you happen to fall into one of the categories of users who are having a validation failure with Palette Master Element, the first thing that I would check is making sure that you don't use an HDMI cable in the color critical workflow. It will help eliminate a lot of problems that may come up. Anyway, I hope that you find this explanation of why you should avoid using HDMI cable for color critical workflow helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. And until next time, art is right.